So to get to Apply Your Mints Files, you click on Activities on the menu bar at the top. Scroll down until you see Apply Your Mints Files and then click on that. This will bring up a separate window that's going to ask you to select the file that you've downloaded. Um, and if you're using our clearinghouse, it'll show you all the available remittance files and that you can click on to import. For now, you would browse to the file that you've downloaded by clicking the magnifying glass and find the file that which you have downloaded and just double click on it. Once you have that file selected, you would click open file. Here, it's going to go through that file and break down uh, the checks that's coming from this insurance and, uh, and how they're applied. In this particular case, it's finding some payments um, that I can't find the exact charge that it's supposed to apply to. So it's giving you this warning that you're going to need to fix this before you can finish it. So for now, I'm going to say no. We can fix it later. In this screen at the top where it says ERA file information, this is what's contained in the file and the check. So you have the payer, uh, their payer information, and the check amount and, and the other dates that you can see there. Sometimes you'll get a remit file that's got multiple checks. Over here by payer, you'll have a drop down that'll show all the different checks that will be on there if there's more than one. In this case, there's just one check. The next section is the claims. So these are the claims that this payment is going to be applied to. You can see that we have three claims for three of our patients here. The first one for Jesse, as I click on it, in the grid below where it says line items, it's going to show the actual charges that are on that claim and how the payments and adjustments are applied to it. So you can see there is two charges here for a 73120 and a 99211, what the fee amount is, what it was billed, and then what the payment amounts are, the allowed amount, adjustment amount. So you can come through and kind of preview how the the payment is going to be distributed to these charges. If at any point you feel these amounts need to change, uh, maybe you don't want to apply the, let's say, the, the deductible or maybe the adjustment needs to be removed or for whatever reason, you can actually double click on this and it'll bring up another window where it shows the details of the amounts for this payment. So you can change the payment amount right here on the fly, the allowed amount. Here you have your adjustment. If there's multiple adjustments, you'll see them listed here with their adjustment code and reason. If you choose to mark a, a charge as a follow-up, this is a feature that's in TotalMD. And when I click on this, it's basically going to add this charge to a report saying, I, I'm not sure the insurance did this right. I want to call them up and follow up with this particular charge. And if I mark this as a follow-up, it'll put it on that report, but also keep this particular charge responsible to the insurance and not shift the responsibility onto the patient until we've went through and verified and we're okay with, with uh, and accepting what the insurance has given us. Uh, the next claim up here on the top you can see is red. This is the problem one. This is the one that we got the warning about saying, hey, there's a payment here and I can't find the charge it's applied to. And the way you fix that is at the bottom there's a button that says fix issues. When you click this, it's going to show all the issues that it's found on this particular remit. There's only one, but there could be multiple that you would see here. So this is the payment that, that we received. I'm going to click on next. This is going to show me the patient's ledger and what charges are in the patient's ledger. So here's the original charge that the remit says it's looking for, a date of service of 815 of 2020 and an account code of 99211 with the charge amount of $36. This is the payment that it says it's doing. It's a primary payment. There's a $30 payment amount and a $1.50 adjustment. So here are the, the charges that's on this particular patient's ledger. I can see that there is a date of service 815. Here's a charge, it's a 99212 though. So it looks like the insurance downgraded that code on the remit and they're gonna pay less. So we can choose to follow up with this or you just apply that, say yes, this is the charge it's supposed to go to. I'm gonna click on that, click next. And now that payment's gonna be applied to that particular charge and we're all squared away. The next uh, payment you can see right here is in blue. What blue means is that it was denied. For some reason, insurance says they're not gonna pay this. So we have a couple choices we can do with this. We can choose to post this as the denied, which means it'll be a zero payment and a 3150 adjustment, which would mean it would adjust the complete amount to zero. Um, if, if we accept that and think that's okay, we can click on this button that says the post. When I do that, it's gonna give you warning, hey, if you post it as it is, the adjustment is the full amount, it's gonna be down to zero. Do you wanna do that? I'm gonna say no. And it immediately, you can see it automatically adjusted that amount to zero. So now what this does, it's going to post a zero payment 
to this particular charge, and that would shift the responsibility onto the next party, whether it's a secondary insurance or the patient. Now, if I want to come in here and make changes like I did before, I can double click it and change the amounts if I like. Once I've gone through all the claims here and all the payments, um, I can now post them. Now, a couple options that I want to point out here is the apply deductible. Basically, what this does, it'll take notes of the deductibles that are noted here. For example, uh, none of these have a deductible amount in the in the remit, so it's not going to do anything. But if there were deductible amounts, you can choose the apply deductible, and it'll just note that in the patient's ledger. Um, the preview secondary adjustment, what this is, if I check that, and when I go to post these payments, if there's any secondary payments in here from a secondary insurance and there's adjustments for it, it'll let you preview it. Sometimes the secondary insurance doesn't get the adjustment right and it'll end up adjusting off more than what it should or something like that. And this gives you a chance to look that over and make sure you're good with how that performs. This right here is gives you a chance to, to change the date that you want to post in the ledger. You can post with today's date, with the actual check date, which would be 8-10-2020, or you can post with the custom date. When you select that, you type in whatever date you like. Print report basically will just create a report of all the changes that you've done on this remit file. So you can record that and know what changes that you made. The post all is what we're going to click on next. And what this does, when I click this, it'll just go through all of our payments here and immediately apply them to the patient's ledger. Um, so let's click on that. Went through, process is done. I'm going to click OK. Let's close out of here. Now let's go to the ledger, just kind of see what they look like. We'll pull up one of our patients here. Um, I believe it was Hernandez, Jesse. Now one thing that doing through the, the electronic posting this way, it kind of notes the payments and adjustments that you've done this way by saying an e-adjust or e-pay. So right here I can see here's the charge for $36. I can see this is part of our remit that we posted. There's an electronic adjustment of $1.50. And then there is also an electronic payment of $30. There was already a copay applied previously of $15. So now I can see that there's a remainder of, uh, there's a credit of $10.50. So I'm going to have to go through and adjust that. Um, and then the second one, we can see the charge was $40.50. There is an adjustment payment. So doing it electronically makes it really simple and really quick. And seeing the ledger makes it really easy to see what you've just done. Should you have any questions, give us a call at Totem D Support, one 800 613-7597. Hope you've enjoyed this video.